Kumbuka Mungu aliye mtakatifu ndiye Mungu mwenye upendo zaidi ya vitu vyote. Remember the Holy God is the one who has love more than anything else. Ikiwa ndivyo hivyo na umesikia neno lake mwambie Bwana usinipite unaposhuka. If it so ask God to not to pass you as you come down. Baba Mungu mtakatifu. Father God, Holy God. Nimelinena neno lako mbele za watu wako. I have spoken your word before your people. Watu hawa ni wathamani sana maana wewe ndio uliomwaga damu yako kwa ajili yao. These people are very precious because you are the one who your blood came on the cross because of them. Na pia ndio aliyetuumba ni kazi ya mikono yako. And you are the creator is the job of your hands. Wewe ni mkuu sana kuliko shida walizonazo. You are powerful more than all the problems that they have. Wewe una nguvu sana kuliko yale aliyosimama mbele yao. You are all powerful more than anything that is stood before them. Na kwa sababu hiyo baba. And because of that Lord. Onyesha upendo wako juu yao wa kuona na uwezo wako kiwafungua. Reveal your love upon them and so they can see how how you deliver them. Ninaomba ufungue mbingu kwa ajili yetu sisi sote mahali hapa. I pray you open heavens for each and every one of us. Ulitakalo litendeke Bwana asiwe pateke kuzuilia. Let your will be done and no one should stop you. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ's name. Nua mikono yako. Lift up your hands. Kuna watu ambao wameumizwa mioyo yao. There are people that their hearts have been really hard. Na hawajajua kwa nini watu wengine waliinuka wakawaumiza mioyo yao kiasi hicho. And they did not know why other people have raised and really hurt their hearts. Na ikasababisha vipawa vyenu vimeharibiwa. And it caused that your gifts to be destroyed. Kuna watu ambao walikuwa na vipawa vya kimungu. There were people that have godly gifts. Vipawa vya kuona. They have gifts to to see. Vipawa vya maombi. To the, the gifts to uh, to pray. Ufahamu wa rohoni. The understanding of the mindset. Walikuwa naomba unaona mbingu inafunguka. They were praying and they could see the heaven open. Walikuwa wanaona mambo ambayo yanatokea. They could see things before they happen. Walikuwa wanapata taarifa mbalimbali za kiroho juu yao. They could receive information of uh, spiritual information before it happens. Adui alikuja akaleta uchungu ndani yako. And the enemy brought bitterness into your heart. Ni kwa sababu uliumizwa moyo wako. It's because your heart was hard. Kutoka hapo wakaharibu hicho kipawa. From then they destroy that gift. Mungu anasema na wale ambao wameharibiwa vipawa vyao. God is talking to people that their gifts have been destroyed. Na ananiambia naonyesha pendo langu mimi maana nilikufa kabla mwanadamu yeyote janijua And he's telling me that I'm showing my love because I died before anyone uh, any human being known to Nataka me Nataka nirudishe vipawa vyao ndani yao I want to bring back the gifts within them Maana vipawa hivi niliwapa mimi Mungu Because these gifts I God has given to them Na adui akawazunguka akawaumiza vipawa vyangu vikaacha kufanya kazi And the enemy turn around and dis- and, dis- and hurt them and then this gift stopped working Mungu anataka kuinua tena hivyo vipawa ndani yako God wants to re- uh, to uplift their gifts again Baba katika jina la Yesu Father in the name of Jesus Na inua vipawa vya watu wako waliomizwa mioyo yao I bring these gifts for these people that have been hurt Ninaomba ushuke e Bwana. I ask you to come down O oh Lord. Na kila mtu aliye na jeraha ndani ya moyo wake. And everyone that has a wound in their hearts. Wengine wameumizwa na watu wa karibu. Other people have been hurt with very close people. Wengine wameumizwa kwa magonjwa. Other people are hurt because of their diseases. Wengine wana vifungo vya ndani kwa ndani. Others are bound within. Ninakusihi Bwana. I ask you God. Ufungue mbingu kwa ajili yao. Open heavens for them. Waponye majaraha yao ya ndani. Heal their heart, their hearts completely, their wounds in their hearts. Waliopitishwa muda mrefu. That they've been through for a long time. Na kisha and then rejesha vipawa vyao. Bring back all their gifts. Rejesha uzuri wako ndani yao. Bring back your love within them. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Nguvu yoyote iliyokushikilia kipawa chako. Any type of power that has been held your gift. Nguvu yoyote iliyoinuka kukuumiza moyo wako. Any type of power that has rise to hurt your heart. Wakakunyang'anya kibali chako. And they took away your favor. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye hai. In Jesus Christ name the living God. Nina kuamuru adui shetani na mawakala wako. I command you devil and your agents. Huna mamlaka tena na juu ya wana wa Mungu. You have no authority on any of these God's children. Kadhabu lisoziweka ndani yao. All the uh, torment that you have left Nazi, in their hearts. Naziamuru ziondoke. I command it out to leave. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ's name. 
I command bitterness to leave you. Kumbu kumbu mbaya zilizo kuumiza miaka mingi ziondolewe. Bad memories that have hurt you for so long to leave you. Ninaona kumbu kumbu zilizo kutesa muda mrefu Mungu anaziondoa. I see bad memories that have been suffered for a long time. God is taking them away. Kumbu kumbu za kusingiziwa mabaya. The, the memories of being accused with uh, the, the things that are not right. Kumbu kumbu za kuibiwa. Mem- the memory of being the thing to be stolen Kila from you. Ukendo, Everywhere you go, you have been, things are stolen from you. Roya vitu vyako. The spirit of stealing your stuff. Roya vitu vyako vya the spirit of stealing everything that's precious for you. Nina sasa hivi. I command it right now. Watuawa. Leave these people. Yes. Dio. Yes. Dio. Adui hawezi kusimama mbele yako tena. The enemy will never stand before you ever again. Kuna roho iliyotumwa maalum kwenye anga lako kila wakati unaibiwa vitu vyako. There is a spirit that is sent to your uh, your heaven space and every time things are stolen from you. Kila wakati unaibiwa vitu vyako kwenye ulimwengu wa roho unaibiwa na kwenye ulimwengu wa damu na nyama. Kila wakati vitu vyako vinaibiwa. A lot of time your things have been stolen in the spiritual realm and it happens in the physical realm. All the time you have been, your things have been stolen. Tazama vitu hivi. Look at these things. Kara! Saka! Shetani anawaumiza watu wengi mioyo yao kwa sababu ameachilia roho ya kuharibu na kuiba vitu vyao. The devil is hurting a lot of people spiritually because he's left the, the stealing uh, spirit uh, in their spiritual realm and the physical realm. Munganiko uliowachiliwa na adui wa kuibiwa vitu vyako unavunjika kutoka sasa. The connection that was left by the enemy has been broken right now. Pajina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Achilia vitu vya watu. Leave this uh, their stuff. Achilia vipawa vyao. Leave their gifts. Achilia njia zao za kiroho. Leave their spiritual parts. Achilia njia zao za utumi. Leave their, their spiritual uh, finances and economy. Giza ondoka. Darkness leave. Ninaona watu waliofunikwa na giza. I see people that are covered with darkness. Alafu adui ananiambia eti ana halali na wao. And the enemy is telling me that he has rights with you. Hata kama ana halali umeshatubu kwa Mungu. Even if they have authority over you but Nani you have ilo giza liondoke kwako. I command the darkness to leave. Giza la kichawi. The darkness from witchcraft. Giza la maskini. Darkness of poverty. In Jesus name. Achilia watu hawa. Leave these people. Achilia anga lao. Leave the heaven space. Achilia anga lao. Leave the heaven space. In Jesus Christ name. Kara! Toka! Nisikilize. Listen to me. Kuna watu wengi wamezingirwa na giza. There's a lot of people darkness is around them. Baada ya kukoseshwa After they've been misled. Giza likawa na sababu, likawa na uhalali, likawafunika. Darkness had right and it covered you. Na wanampenda Mungu. And they love God. Sasa. Now. Mungu anapotaka kuwafungua sasa. When God want to set you free now. Giza linasema tulikuwa na uhalali nao. The darkness said we had the right over them. Mwambie shetani. Tell the devil. Niko mbele za Mungu. I am before God. Nimetubu. I have repented. Hata kama nilitenda mabaya. Even if I sinned. Ni kwa sababu wewe ulinisababisha. You caused it. Sasa hivi nimetubu. But now I have repented. Sitaki giza lako tena. I don't want your darkness again. Na ninaona ile giza linapoondoka. And I see this darkness leave. Watu wengi wanaponywa na ndugu zao walioko nyumbani. A lot of people have been here including their relatives at home. Watu wengi ambao walikuwa hawezi kutembea watatembea. A lot of people who could not walk they will walk. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Giza. Darkness. Giza. Darkness. Giza. Darkness. Giza. Darkness. Ndoka ndani ya watu hawa. Leave these people. Ndoka juu ya watu hawa. Leave over these people. Kara. Ndoka. Achilia watu hawa. Release these people. Unajua hata nikinyamaza maada Mungu amesema anaendelea na operation yake. Even though I am quiet as long as God has spoken the operation continues. Ninaona jicho la Mungu linaona paka ndani ya nyumba yenu. I see the eye of God. He can see all the way through your homes. Mji wenu liwachiliwa giza la laana. Your homes the darkness of Christ have left over your homes. Watu wanakufa kabla ya miaka yao kufika. People are dying before their time. Na ni roho ya mauti ilipata nafasi. In the spirit of death that had a chance. Na walipata nafasi kwa sababu kwenu mlikuwa mnatambikiaga watu. Because uh, 
uh, it got a chance because in your homes you are you are sacrificing matambiko the ancestral spirit they used to sacrifice kiza likapata nafasi kwenye mji wenu darkness have a power over your home linakufuata wewe mpaka kazini kwako it comes oh, it follows you all the way to your Nasema work i speak to that darkness kiza la matambiko the darkness of uh, ancestral spirit uh, sacrifice The darkness of being oppressed for absolutely no reason. Leave from these people. Achilea macho yao. Leave their eyes. Achilea macho yao. Leave their eyes. Na situ kukugusa na kukuweka huru. Not only to touch you but to set you free. Na kurudisha the power ambayo ya Mungu alikuumbia nacho. And God brings back everything the gifts that has created you with. Baba asante. Father thank you. Unapowarudishia baraka zao na rejesha na baraka zao ndani yao. As you bring the blessing I bless them over them. Natamka baraka juu yao. I speak blessings over them. Na zirudi kwa wepesi Bwana kuliko wanavyofikiri watu wako. They should come back very uh, quickly more than they can ever think. Kila wakati mji wako umekuwa na mabaya tu, mabaya tu, mabaya tu. All, all the time your homes they just have bad luck all the time. Kila wakati unasikia habari mbaya tu baada ya muda moyo wako unafurahi baada ya muda unasikia habari mbaya ama ya kifo ama ya kitu kibaya kitu kibaya tu kila kibaya tu all, all the time you hear bad news once you if you feel joyful for a while and then you hear bad news all the time Bwana anaambia hizo ni roho za watesaji. God is tell me that is the spirit of oppression. Biblia imefundisha Yesu alifundisha kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya 18. The Bible tells me uh, told the, in the book of Matthew 20 uh, chapter 8. Juu ya yule mtu ambaye alikuwa amewagawia watu fedha. Upon the man who has given people money. Lakini mmoja aliposhindwa kurudisha na hajaomba msamaha. Uh, one that could not uh, repay the debt. Biblia sema akampeleka kwa watesaji. And then he took them to the oppressors. Ninaona roho za utesaji ambazo zimeachiliwa ndani ya watu. I see oppression spirit that has been released over people. Zinawadhalilisha watu. It humiliates them. Na baadhi yao wengine kwenye ndoa zao wanadhalilishwa. And even other people in their marriages you have been humiliated. People of the lilishaji. The spirit of humiliation. People of the saji. The spirit of oppression. Jitenge na roho ya utesaji. Separate yourself from the spirit of oppression. Jitenge na roho ya utesaji. Separate yourself from the spirit of oppression and persecution. Achilia watu hawa kwa jina la Yesu. Leave these people in Jesus name. Achilia watu wa Mungu katika jina la Yesu. Leave people of God in Jesus name. Wengine wanateswa kwa magonjwa ya muda mrefu. Other people are suffering from the sickness for a long time. Mateswa ya magonjwa ya muda mrefu. The suffering of sickness for a long time. Toka ndani ya watu hawa. Disappear from these people. Achilia watu hawa. Leave these people. Mateswa ya magonjwa ya miaka mingi. Suffering of sickness for so many years. Toka magonjwa. Disappear your sickness and disease. Disappear your spirit of sickness and disease. The one that is sick. Listen very careful. God is turning it is saying he's touching the sick people. Kuna mtu ambaye ana shida kuanzia kwenye mfumo wa koo lake. There someone has a problem from the throat. Paka kwenye kifua chake. All the way to your chest. Na kuna mtu ambaye ana mfumo wa shida kwenye tumbo lake. And another one in your stomach system. Tumbo lako? Your stomach. Limekaa kama mtu ambaye amekuchoma kisu huku na kisu alafu anavuta pamoja na. It's like someone has stabbed you with a knife and it's pulling it. Unasikia uchungu wa kufa. You see uh, you you feel a lot of pain almost like dying. Una maumivu makali sana. You have a lot of pain. Na ulikuja ukishtuka usiku ukaanza kuona shida hiyo inaanza. And you woke up in the middle of the night and you could feel that uh, problem. Mungu ananiambia waliwanenea watoto wangu mauti. Nguvu za giza wanenea mauti ili wawe pesa zao zipelekwe hospitali ili ziwasaidie iwe kama chuma ulete. God is telling me that they have spoken evil against you so that you, your money can go to the host, uh, to the hospital spend money in the hospital. 
mateso yoyote waliyoachiliwa all sorts of suffering that have been left over you yaliokaa kwenye tumbo lako that they are sitting taking place in your stomach yaliokaa kwenye kifua chako that they are taking place in your chest yaliokaa kwenye koo lako that they are taking place in your in your throat kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye hai in Jesus Christ the, ne- the living God ninayaamuru yaondoke i command it to leave ondoka sasa hivi leave just now achilia mili ya watu hawa leave their bodies Achilia mili yao. Leave their bodies. Achilia kifua chake. Leave the chest. Kuna mtu mwili wake unakosa nguvu. The someone that your body does not have enough strength you feel weak. Mwili wako umeshambuliwa hauna nguvu hata kidogo. Your body is so weak you have no power at all. You have no, no strength yes. at all. Yes. Angalia kule. Dear look over there. Kila mahali mwili wako hauna nguvu. All over your body you have no strength. Na unapata mashambulizi ya kila mara kwa mara. And you are attacked all the time. Mungu anakufungua kutoka hapo ulipo. God is setting you free from where you are. Nasema Mungu anakufungua mahali ulipo. I say God is setting you free from where you are. Mahali Mungu anakufungua mahali uliko. All over the place God is setting you free. Kera! Toka! The might name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Papa la udhaifu. That uh, spirit of weakness. Papa la udhaifu. Spirit of weakness. Lilondoa nguvu ya kwenye mwili wako. That took away your strength. Raya daifu ndoka. The spirit of weakness leave. Bana anakukamea kwa jina la Yesu. God is speaking you in Jesus name. Achilia mili ya watu wa Mungu. Leave your bodies. Achilia mili ya watu hawa. Leave their bodies. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Funguka kwa jina la Yesu. Be released in Jesus name. Funguka kwa jina la Yesu. Be released in Jesus name. Ninaona mtu aliyemezeshwa chura wa kipepo. I see someone that you have uh, swallowed something like a frog. Kuna mtu amemezeshwa chura kwenye ulimwengu wao wa roho. You have swallowed a frog in the spiritual realm. Na kila wakati anaona tumbo lake linalia kama chura ndani yake. And all the time your stomach is just rumbling. All the time your stomach is rumbling all the time. Mungu anakufungua kutoka sasa. God is delivering you from now. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa ya chura. That spirit of fraud. Ondoka ndani ya mili ya watu. Leave from the bodies of these people. Kwa ya kichawi. That spirit of witchcraft. Kwa ya kichawi. The spirit of witchcraft. Ndio kwenye tumbo. That is sitting in your Ilio stomach. Ndio kwenye kifua. That is sitting on your Ilio chest. Ndio kwenye koo. That is sitting on your throat. Kwa ya kichawi. The spirit of witchcraft. Toka. Ah! Mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Tareka na mateso yako. Disappear with your sufferings. Jesus. Yesu. Kuna watu Mungu anaanza kufanya operation utatapika kila kitu ulicholishwa. I see that God is doing operation he will vomit anything that you've been fed. Kila kitu ulicholishwa. Everything that you have fed. Ni saa hii Mungu anaona nguvu inaingia ndani ya tumbo lako. It's now I can see the power of God is entering your stomach. Ile sumu inatoka. That poison is leaving you. Ile sumu inatoka. That poison is coming out. Nasema hiyo sumu inatoka. That poison is coming out. Ni sasa hivi hiyo sumu inatoka. Is this minute that poison yes, is coming out. Yes, hiyo sumu inatoka. That poison is coming out. Ilio zuia ujauzito sumu inatoka. That has uh, not allow you to uh, consume. Hiyo sumu aliyo kunenea usizai inatoka. That poison that they spoke against is so that it will not consume. Sumu ya kitawi. That poison the witchcraft inatoka. Jesus my dear. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Kuna watu wamelishwa vitu. There are people that have fed things. Naona watu waliolishwa vyakula vya asili. I see there are people that have fed the traditional food. Mtu anakuambia, hebu jaribu kula na hii umejala siku nyingi. Try to eat something like this you have never ate it for a long time. Kumbe menenewa mabaya. But they added bad things over it. Toka siku hiyo. From then. Mwili wako hujakaga vizuri. Your body has never uh, been the same. Nasema hiyo roho zinaondoka. That spirit is leaving you. Hizo roho zinaondoka. That spirit is leaving you. Kila mahali zilipo. Everywhere that you are. Bwana anazikamea kwa jina la Yesu. God is rebuking it in Jesus name. Na tumbo lako linatakaswa. And your stomach has been cleansed. Na mwili wako unatakaswa. And your body has been cleansed and purified. Roho ya kupoteza vitu inaondolewa. The spirit of losing things has been taken away. Umepoteza vitu vingi sana umekutengenezea kitu kibaya kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. You have lost so many things. They have uh, made something really bad so you can lose your things. Hata ukipata kazi baada ya muda tu inatokea kitu unaondolewa. Even if you get a job, something will be stolen and you you you'll be taken away from your job. 
Ukipata pesa tu matatizo yanatokea mradi usikae na fedha kwenye mkono wako. As long as you have a little bit of money something will happen so that you will not have money with you. Kuna mtu ana bahati ya kupata vitu kwenye mikono yake. There's someone who is blessed to have things on 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 their hands. Lakini ukipata hivyo vitu havikai ndani ya mwezi au miezi miwili. As soon as you get those things will not stay longer with hardly two months. Unakujikuta watu wanakufuata kwaambia hii wewe nipe hii wewe utapata ingine nipe hii unawapa unawapa unawapa. Kwa hiyo wewe ni wakupata na kuondoa na kupata na kuondoa. They come to you and they say oh you can give it to me and you will get an, uh, another one. So you are receiving and you just give it away you're receiving and giving kuna roho iliyotegeshwa kwenye mkono wako is the spirit that has been set all upon your hands walipokupa mkono walinena maneno mabaya when they shake your hand they spoke against you naona mkono wako inua juu na funguliwa lift up your hands i see you have been released unatenganishwa na hiyo roho god is uh, releasing you from that spirit iliyoshika vitu vyako vya thamani that have grab your uh, captured your precious thing in Christo. Jesus Christ name achilea uchumi wao leave their finances achilea mikono yao leave their hands kara toka uliondolewa kitu cha thamani ukaachiliwa kitu kibaya they took something precious from you and they left you something bad ah toka nafungua mikono yako I release your hands. Nafungua mikono yako. I release your hands. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Baba asante. Father thank you. Pe Yesu makofi mpe Yesu. Love for Jesus. Mwili wako unarudishwa nguvu uliokuwa huna nguvu kwenye mwili wako. Your uh, body the, the Lord is giving back your strength the body that was weak. Tumbo lako kuna vitu vilikuwa vinavuta na naona Mungu anakuponya na vinaondoka. And in your stomach the things that were pulling I can see God healing you and they are leaving you. Pamoja na kifua chako na koo lako linafunguliwa. Your throat and your chest you said being set free and delivered. Kuna mtu mwingine mguu wako wa kushoto mara nyingi umeleta shida. There's someone that you have a problem with your left leg. Mguu wako wa kushoto mahali ulipokaa ushikilie. You are left uh, your left leg wherever you are seated touch your left leg. Naona nguvu iliyotegeshwa kwenye mguu wako wa kushoto. I see the power that has been uh, trapped uh, for you on your left Mungu, leg. Mungu anakupenda anataka kufungue huo mguu wako. God loves you. He wants to set you free from that uh, problem on your left leg. Baba asante kwa sababu nafungua watoto wako miguu yao. Father thank you because you're delivering your people your children's legs. Na kila walicho ki- shikizishwa ama walichokamatishwa ama walichokanyaga kiharibike kutoka sasa that they have step on any, any type of trap that will been set free in Jesus unafunguliwa kutoka sasa you are released from this moment katika jina la Yesu in Jesus name achilia huo mguu wake release that leg kwa jina la Yesu in Jesus name nyosha huo mguu wako umekaa sawa stretch your leg you are right now Baba asante kwa kuwafungua watu wako. Father thank you for delivering your people. Kuna watu wana mateso sugu. There are people that they have chronic uh, sufferings. Wengine wana pressure. Other people have high blood pressure. Kama una pressure njoo hapa mbele. If you are suffering from high blood pressure come forward. Kuna mwingine ana kisukari. Others have uh, diabetic. Kama una pressure na kisukari ndio nimekuita mbele. If you are suffering from high blood pressure and diabetic come forward. Kuna mwingine wana teso lilo jificha miaka mingi lakini ni shida sugu. There are other people that have hidden suffering but it's it's been chronic. Kuna vitu vimejificha ndani hata uelewi lakini unateseka. There's the things that are so hidden so uh, within you don't even understand but you're suffering. Baba asante. Father thank you. Shika kifua chako kama umefika hapo mbele. That your chest if you have arrived here. Shika kifua chako wengine shika moyo wako. Touch your chest touch your, where your heart is. Bwana najua uko pamoja na watu wako mahali hapa. Lord I know you are together with your people at this place. Ninaomba ujidhihirishe kwa ukuu wako. I ask you to reveal yourself with your power. Ili yale yale washinda wao uwashindie e eh, Bwana. So the things that are impossible for them you help them to be possible. Galia watu wako wana mateso ya ndani ambao hawajui watamwambia nani. Look at these people they are suffering uh, within they don't even know who to talk to. Na wamekuja wakiwa na imani na ombo usiwapite hata mmoja. They came before you faithfully I pray that you will not pass any of them. Wafungue ili furaha yako idhirike ndani yao. Deliver them so that your uh, joy can be revealed within them. Asante kwa kunisikia. 
Thank you for hearing me. Jesus. Yes, Mateso sugu. Chronic sufferings. Mateso ya kisukari. Diabetic sufferings. Yanokutishia uhai wako kufa. That they are threatening the, your life with, uh, with death. Mateso ya pressure. Suffering from high blood pressure. Mateso yaliyojificha kwenye mwili muda mrefu kiteseka nayo. The hidden suffering that have been hidden in your body for so many years in, but you're suffering. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo the High. In Jesus Christ the living God. Mwachie watu hawa. Leave these people. Achilieni watu hawa. Leave these people. Achilieni damu zao na mishipa yao. Leave their blood and their muscles. Achilia moyo wako leave their hearts mauti ondoka death leave kisukari ondoka diabetic leave pressure ondoka pressure leave mateso sugu ondoka chronic sufferings leave bwana akukamea kwa jina la yesu may the lord rebuke you in jesus name na kame hayo mateso i rebuke all those sufferings ondoka kwenye viungo vyao leave from their body parts mauti ya moyo ondoka that spirit of death in their hearts achilia watu hawa release these people na wafungua kwa jina la Yesu. I set them free in Jesus name. Na wafungua kwa jina la Yesu. I set them free in Jesus name. Na achilie uzima wa Kristo ndani yako. I leave the healing power of Christ over you. Pokea uzima wa Kristo ndani yako. Receive the power of healing over you. Pokea uzima wa Kristo Yesu ndani yako. Receive the healing power of Jesus Christ over you. Kesho haya yasirudi tena kwako. All this suffering should never come back to you ever again. Kesho isirudi tena ndani yako. I blood pressure never to come back again. Might na mabishiza. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Achilia familia hii. Leave this family. Achilia mili ya watu hao. Leave their bodies. Achilia viungo vyao. Leave their body parts. Achilia damu zao. Leave their blood. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Wao wazima kutoka sasa. Let them be healed from now. Wao mzima kutoka sasa. Be healed from now. Kutoka sasa. From now. Kila kiungo kikae vizuri. And it, uh, all your body parts to be uh, healed. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Ninaona kama vile mtu ambaye alikuwa mbali. I see like someone who has been very far. Alafu nakaona kwenye nyumba ya mtu. And I see you in someone's house. Ambaye ilikuwa gizani sana. It was in darkness. Ambapo ilikuwa huwezi kuona kitu chochote kwa ndani maana giza. You could not see anything inside because it's dark. Lakini ghafla nikaona kama katundu kametokea unaona mpaka ngambo ya pili. All of a sudden I see like a hole just appeared you could see all the way to the other side. Mungu ananiambia hilo ni jicho lake linaona ndani yako kile ambacho litendewa na kufanyia sasa. God is telling me that is his eye he can see everything that the enemy has done for you. Mungu ananiambia naona mpaka ndani yao. So when I sing like this God is telling me I can see all the way within them inside of them. Mungu anapoona tatizo linaondoka. When God sees your problem leaves. Naona ndani yako Mungu kuna kitu anafanya. I see God within you there's something God is doing within you. Ambacho kilikuwa nje ya uwezo wako. That was out of you. Na anafanya sasa hivi. And he's doing it right now. Kwa maana nimeona jicho lake linapita katikati yako. That's why I can see his eye going in the middle of you. Nisikilize. Listen. Kuna watu wamekuja hapa. There are people who are here. Ni watu wazima ama vyovyote vile. They are old people or any other way. Mateso yao. But they are suffering. Hawana mtu wa kwenda kumwambia. They don't have anyone to tell. Lakini wanatamani Mungu akutane nao. But they wish that God will meet with them. Mungu anaambia waendelee kusimama hapo. God is telling me let them Mana stand there. Mimi ni baba yao. Because I am their father. Mimi ni Mungu wao. Because I am their God. Wengine walikumbuka wazazi wao walioondoka waliokuwa msaada miaka mingi. Other people have remembered their parents that have been helpful many years ago. Wanatamani kusema angekuepo fulani ningejifunua kwake. They wish they could they, they wish to say if so and so was here I would have said something to them. Angekuepo fulani mimi ningesema kwake leo nitamwambia nani? If so someone was here i would have revealed me myself today who am i going to talk to bwana ananiambia god is telling me kaza moyo wako kwake mungu Uh, keep your heart straight for Yeye atakufanya bora kuliko wale ambao waliwahi kukusaidia. God will make you better more than anyone who has helped you before. 
Hapa tuko mbele uwepo wake. Nani nakutangazia kila kitu anachokifanya? And I'm telling you of everything that God is doing. Ili julikane ni yeye. So that it's known it that's him. Naona jicho lake linapita kwenye kwa watu wake. I see his eye going through each and every one of you. Ile nyumba naiona ni wewe. The house that I see is Bibi, you. Bibi lesema, Ninyi ni nyumba ya sala, ninyi ni nyumba ya roho. The Bible tells me that you are the temple of the Lord, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Kwa hiyo kila aliyesimama mahali hapa aliyekuwa na teso. Everyone who stood before here and you have suffering. Mungu anakufungua. God is releasing you. Na mateso yanaondoka. And the sufferings are gone.